Are you looking for a fun fold that's just got that wow factor? Yeah, you want it simple enough to duplicate it for your Christmas cards. This video is for you. Welcome, my crafty friends. I'm Dawn, creator of DD Creates Crafts, and I have simple solutions to all your crafty questions. Are you ready to create some crafts? Let's get started. What we're gonna use is this pack called A Little Bit Festive, and it's got 12 by 12 paper plus all this amazing ephemera. It's so cute, I can hardly stand it. And this is gonna speed up your card making efforts as well. Let's begin. Your step one is to cut some white cardstock. We are gonna cut this at nine and three eighths by four and one eighths. Then you're gonna score it at two and again at four. And the first fold is gonna be a mountain and the second fold is a valley. So that's where we get this fold from with our white piece. The next step after you share the video is to cut a green layer, some cardstock. It can be any color you choose to use, but it's gonna be at four and a quarter by 11 and then you're going to score it at five and a half all right so that's going to be our base and i'm going to put that aside just for a minute come in with your designer series paper and i want you to cut this at four right there by five and a quarter and then four again by one and seven eighths. Now, you've heard me talk about how math makes me crazy. So, if you would like my secret ruler, I keep this on my craft desk, you let me know below you want this and I will email it to you. It has saved my life, I don't know how many times, and you will need it for this. So now we've got our cut pieces and I want you to die cut some layers. Um, not layers, let's call them elements let's call them labels but you can either use what i use these guys the country corners you just need some nesting or go with stylish shapes which has the circles the squares and some banners but get you a nice set of some basic labels i nested and i did my first one this is just personal preference but i cut it to match my card base then the second one i did in white so i could decorate it so i could stamp it and have so much fun with it the next step, let's get into a little adhering and a little decorating. Before we do that, remember to tell me below if you want the PDF tutorial for this and I will email it to you. Just let me know below. Now let's start adhering onto the white. I'm gonna take our designer series paper. I am using my silicone craft mat or craft sheet, if you will. Now look how teeny tiny this little margin is. Same thing, this is gonna go on the outside. I'm calling it the outside, but right in front of our mountain fold. This is gonna stay white. You can use this to write a note or you can skip it, but it, this is the part that folds up like this. So now what we're gonna do is do a little decorating, but what I wanna do with this, I wanna come in, I'm gonna get some pool party ink and let me get a little scratch paper and I'm going to keep this right here. You know why? Because when we use when we use polymer stamps like we're going to use here and this is from the Humble Home stamp set. I'm going to use the heart because we are also going to decorate with the houses. There's no cushion, so we have to create our, create our own cushion. Now, what I want you to do is you let me practice a little stamp it's good, but I want to stamp off and then I want to stamp. Yep, we don't want it too, too dark. So I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp, stamp off and then stamp again. All right, you ready for the next step? Let's adhere this down. There we go. It creates like a picture frame, if you will. This now is going to go on top of this. Now, here's what I did. Here's what I recommend. I'm going to use some tear and tape, and let me tell you why. We're only going to use it on the part that stands up. So we're going to add a little tear and tape right here at the bottom, and then tuck him in here because we just want to measure. This is my little trick for measuring. I want to see how far across because I'm going to a little more tape towards the top of that mountain score line. So I've got some tape here and some tape here. 
All right, now we're gonna adhere it together. So then you're gonna eyeball it, make sure it's even Steven on both sides, tops, sides, and it opens like this. That's stinking cute, don't you think? So now what I wanna do, this is some of the ephemera from that a little bit festive pack. I'm gonna add this towards the bottom. All right, I am coming back here with the little ephemera, and then I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna flip it over and use the actual card as my template. So then I have already come in and on some pecan pie cardstock, I actually, if you can see the shine embossed, the white. I wanted my little house to look like a gingerbread house. Now I did stamp, color, and fussy cut a little wreath for our gingerbread house. What I recommend, because I'm having so much fun with this, is that you get the stamp set that I'm using and then go ahead and just fussy cut until you can get your stamp. Now I did with the punch also do some little hearts and we have pre-stamped these hearts, but I want these to look like the smoke coming out of the top of the little chimney. Do you think he's so cute? It's coming along, isn't it? So now we're gonna adhere all this down to our base. On the inside, I did put a little white because this card top stock is too dark to write on. So this white layer is four and a quarter by three and a half. And I've got a secret method for cutting my white. If you were on Facebook, go back. I think it was, it may be last week or the week before, but it's Technique Tuesday. It shows you out of one piece of paper how you can get six pieces for the inside of your card. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna glue this white part down to the green. Look, oh my stars. Is it the cutest? The ephemera and the paper are only 10. And then this one I wanted to show you. So yes, 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 you must vote for your favorite. So remember to leave me a comment, tell me your favorite, tell me if you want the PDF tutorial, show me some love and just tell me you watched the video. Thanks you guys, bye now.